Welcome to LearnClickU.com. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the include file to simplify scripting in ClickU. But first, let's uh, understand how ClickU stores data, as that knowledge uh, will empower you to use the include file to either create custom order list or to format common fields that your organization can use in multiple documents. And I'll certainly show you some, some examples in this tutorial later on. Um, now imagine that ClickView stores your documents into two levels. First level contains the distinct list of values. And second level contains table data um, containing of pointers. So um, if your document has 100 fields, you will have um, 100 lists. Uh, and, and that's how um, click view stores data. Now, lists are populated as data is loaded during the reload process, and that's very important because if you want to create a custom order list, then you can create an inline table with uh, with specific order that you desire. And uh, since click view stores or remembers um, values as as it gets loaded it will uh, store that value only once but that order also will be uh, indexed so no matter how many times a, a, a data field value is loaded or how many tables contain that value uh, it is stored only once in click and I think that's the the key aspect you need to remember to use include file to do things such as custom order or uh, to create a format uh, list in, uh, for your document. So uh, with, with that basic understanding, let's look at the example that I'd like to go over today. And uh, I'll just show you here that, that I have a, um, a simple list of, um, uh, say, um, employees and um, sales so this is just, these are sales figures by by order date uh, so this is this is the table that we're gonna load and um, as you can see here as, as I was explaining in the first part that um, you know this table contains three fields so there are three lists here uh, first list is the order date the second one's the last name, and third is is the sales figure. As you see here, three columns, and and as you see some of the values are repeated. For instance, order date's been repeated three times for each salesman uh, for each month. Um, nonetheless, it's only stored once, and that's the key. Uh, as we discussed earlier, early on. That it, that not only stores value once, but it also uh, stores values uh, in order as, as they get loaded um, in in the memory. So, um, if you look at last name, same way, um, they're you know four or five salesmen, but their 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 names are repeated. Um, nonetheless. If you look at the list here, you will have only distinct values, and that's the that's the first level that we talked about. Uh, same same applies to to the sales figure. All right, so um, it you know here here's a little include file that I've I've created, and the simplest way to uh, to in, uh, add include file to your script is by um, inserting um, an include statement in your script whatever you want you see here I have included um, this loader dot txt uh, your path may vary um, or you you may want to use actually a variable um, to to make sure that it it's it's your documents portable across different um, platforms like development QA and production so, uh, for this example, what I'm doing is I have created um, 
first table that's just the simple one row table and it has two columns um, this is for formatting I'm using uh, date in a certain format and that's for the order date and again as we discuss that by doing this since click we will load this table first and will and it remembers the uh, not only the the or uh, the order of the column but but uh, the format as well it will remember this format and then then we'll load the actual data and drop this this table uh, same way to do to create a custom order what I've done here is I've created a a, a list like this and, and um, as, as click use loads data it, it's going to remember this field which will be a list and in this values in that particular order and it'll store it so for, uh, for this example let's see let's plunge back in and look at the document and as you see here in this uh, little chart I have date format as uh, DDMM and the year um, and and let's say we want to change it to MM DD and then YY and again uh, the the beauty of doing this is that you can create a, a list once and then uh, you can use it in multiple documents so in the future if you have to change format you just change it once here and all the documents that are consuming this uh, include file will, will get um, the change uh, reflected so uh, let's say I change this here and I'm gonna I'm gonna save it um, here I have decimal to two I'm gonna change it to three uh, to just one Sorry. Okay. So all right. So at this point, uh, I'm gonna reload. It's simple, right? So as you see, the date has changed and yeah, now it's showing the month first, and and uh, it, it, as you see in the dollar figure, it's showing only one decimal. So um, that's that, and, and and let's look at how we can change the uh, the, the order list here. We have uh, salesmen in certain order. Let's say we wanted to change it uh, so that say Mitchell's the first salesman is store it. File save and again reload. So as you see now, Mitchell's showing at the top. So by doing this, what we've done is we have created one include file and that include file can be uh, used in multiple documents um, so uh, instead of creating custom order by using match function or some other ways um, you, you, you can do so but then you will have to maintain it in each document um, versus here by creating one list we can uh, propagate into all this document so uh, that's the uh, the gist of this uh, little tutorial for the day. I hope you liked it. If so, please come back uh, for more tutorials as I will publish that regularly. Till then, so long. Take care. Bye-bye.